just spotted a squirrel in the tree down there. So what I'm going to do now is just get the S400. See if we can uh, see if we can get him. James is going to film the store and then I'll switch to the camera on my rifle to uh, show the actual kill, hopefully. As I get closer I can still see that the squirrel's there. It's getting a bit edgy now so I'm just creeping down to make the profile as low as possible. I figure this is close enough. And I go into the kneeling position. He seems pretty calm and unaware. So I stick one right in the clockwork. There you go. That's that squirrel down. It's just kicking there from nerves. So I took a shot on a squirrel, we pulled in in the car and saw it down there. Um, so I, I took it from the kneeling position as you saw, uh, S410 mag, about 25 yards. So now we're going to go and pick it up. It's only a young one I think. Oh yeah. Let's uh, see where we're hitting. I think I hit him just here, the front of the head, and it looks like it's come out in his neck. So, not 100%, but you saw how quickly it rolled over. Now, there, I, there was another one that I was trying to get as well, but uh, that ran off into its dray, and that's hidden in ivy and, and uh, holly, so I won't be able to see that one today. But uh, I'll come back tomorrow and the day after and see if we can get him. Another good hunt for the S400. Boxing day now, and I've got my S400. I'm just going to go into the woods behind, see if I can get a roof on the squirrel. It's done the last bit of foraging. So I'm full up for Christmas dinner and um, Boxing Day buffet. So I need to walk it off and expend some energy. Fingers crossed, on the camera, on the rifle, and uh, we'll get to it. If we can get ourselves some quarry. into the wood and it's very hard to be stealthy in here because the leaves are like cornflakes under your feet. I spotted a squirrel in the V of a branch so I'm just getting myself set up now. There's the view from the camera on the rifle and I aim for a headshot and he drops instantly. That's just nerves now, letting him hang on and he drops to the floor. Here's the squirrel then. Dropped instantly. It's 
So it looks like it's going to be just the one squirrel today. Took him with a really nice neck slash heart shot. So the angle it was at would have gone through the neck and then through the vital organs. Uh, can't see an exit wound, but doesn't mean to say that there isn't one. Like I've said before, this will be going to the Birds of Prey Centre, so it won't be going to waste. So that'll be it for this little little hunt. And uh, let's, go, let's go back for some Boxing Day food. So I'm just sitting in the back of the car with a dog and a pigeon comes in. So I calmly raise my rifle and I've got a really nice neck slash heart and lung shot here. And I put it right where I need to. And the pigeon drops without a twitch. Nice pigeon there. I was just sitting in the boot of the car and a pigeon came in about 25 yards away and I put a really good heart and lung shot on him and he dropped instantly so uh, now we're going to go and pick him up I'm really starting to love this S400 Here you have the Woody that you just saw me shoot. He dropped absolutely instantly, straight off his perch, and just landed down here. I can't see where I hit him, but from the reaction of the of when the pellet struck, he dropped straight away. You can tell that that was a heart and lung, and a direct shot at that. If it was a head shot, he would have flapped his wings before he dropped. So uh, really pleased with that. And this pigeon's going to go on the table because it's such a monster. <laughs> This is the first official hunt with the S400. I've made myself a camera mount, so I'll be able to mount the camera on top of the rifle, which will allow me to track what I'm shooting without setting this flipping tripod up every time. Because believe me, that is a real pain and I shoot a lot less. There's usually a couple of squirrels foraging around this time of year down at the bottom here. So I'm gonna take the camera, pop it on the rifle, and see if we can get one. Fingers crossed. The squirrel's being a bit jumpy as you can see and he's running through the trees. I'm just waiting for him to stop in a clear position. There's not a good shot here because he's out of sticks. But as he comes down, he rests right on a clear patch. And I take him with a nice headshot. Got him. It's starting to rain now. I'm going to go and retrieve my squirrel. Good sized female squirrel there. Now this one's going to be taken to the uh, the Birds of Prey Centre. No problem to me, so it's not going to go to waste. I just don't really have the time to be cooking it up and eating it, so it's not going to go to waste, and it's also not going to be damaged the damaging the local environment and the woodland. <laughs> 